to my channel everyone as you can tell by today's title i am back with another declutter video you guys really enjoyed my last declutter so i thought i would take advantage and come back again with another declutter video i don't know what it is i've just been on a purging and cleansing um i guess type of whirlwind and i figured like i said i would take advantage and share my declutter video today so today's video we're going to the last two drawers of my little um, beauty station here my previous video i tackled this eyeshadow palette drawer as you can see it's still looking really good it's still organized way better than it was before um, and i got everything down to one one drawer so today is all going to be about my face palettes um some eyeshadow some not eyeshadow some um highlighters blushes face powders setting powders um just everything concerning the cheeks and things like that and i have true two drawers that i will be tackling today not as bad as my eyeshadow palettes but i really need to declutter a lot of this stuff and um, if we have time at the end of this video, I will organize it really quickly um, just to get things looking more uh, organized. <laughs> so let's get right into it. So I figured we would start up here because this is the most. I have this tray in here that I got from Dollar Tree that's really helping me sort of keep organized. I need to go back and get another one. And as you can see, it's messy in here. <laughs> Hence this declutter. So um, the first thing I have here that I'm picking up in no particular order is the Ofra um, by Nikki Tutorials Collab Highlighter Everglow. I haven't used it in a while, but um, I don't know. I think I might keep it. Let me try to open it really quick so you can see what that looks like. That would be helpful. So this is what that looks like. Isn't it gorgeous? And as you can see, I have not used it. I didn't swatch it. I didn't do anything. Um, so I think I'm going to hold on to it. I haven't had it that long, but it's absolutely gorgeous. And with the fall season quickly approaching, I think this would be great to use during that season. So I'm going to keep that. Next we have... Um, the Per Bronze and Brightening Palette. Let's see if, how this looks. I'm trying to open it with one hand here. This is how that looks. I remember using this a few times. It's really pretty, um, but I don't reach for it. So I'm not sure how I'm feeling about it, but it's still really good. It's gorgeous. I think I got this in a boxy charm box. Um, when I was in, had a subscription for them. Super gorgeous. Um, I think I'm going to hold on to this one as well. I'm going to hold on to that. And um, hopefully I'll have some more space to um, organize this. Um, like I said, a lot of my palettes in here for my face, like my blushes and highlighters, they're really small. So I really wanted to find some of these containers that'll help keep them from moving around in this big drawer that I have. Just wanted to insert that, you know, really quickly if I forgot to mention that. Um, so if you see a lot of little things, it's because I did have a beauty subscription and um, there were some items in here also from ColourPop that I also love. Like there's Super Shock, which we're about to get to right now. And then I have things in here that shouldn't be in here or I wanted to put them somewhere else. Like for instance, I have my favorite Beauty Counter Skin Twin Featherweight Foundation. You guys, this is amazing. So if you're looking for something lightweight and it just feels like skin, this is it. And it also has great um, skincare ingredients in it. So you're getting like a two-in-one product. You're getting foundation and you're getting skincare in one bottle. So I figured since it was right here, I would just talk about it really quickly because it's amazing. So I'm definitely going to keep that. I might put this back on my vanity instead of keeping it in here because I do reach for it often and I don't have that many foundations. I use a lot of 
really full coverage concealers to keep me going for the day. And I have maybe like a handful, maybe less of foundation. So yeah. All right, so now the next item is this Yensa. It's like a creamy, bronzy silk base. Um, I used it once. I really didn't care for it. Um, so I'm definitely going to declutter this. I'm not sure if they even make these type of formulas anymore. I haven't really seen too many um, brands advertising these, but I didn't care for it. Yeah, so again, this is by Yensa. It's a silk bronze base. It's like this creamy type of finish like a pomade um yeah i didn't really care for that so we're going to declutter that next we have my becca this is the becca um hydra hydra mist i absolutely love this i used to use this very seldom because it was so hard to find and i'm telling you guys i've never had a um it's i believe this is like a a setting and refresher powder for your foundation for your makeup and when I tell you like if you can see like it's just I don't know how they do it but when you put this on your face you can feel the coolness like it just feels so cooling on your skin it's so lightweight it's absolutely amazing so I'm definitely going to hold on to this it's so good you guys shout out to Becca I hope they still make this because I definitely need to get another one it's such a good base the next is um this elf this is um, um a refinishing powder by elf i think i'm gonna hold on to this it's still pretty good um it's just so i don't know elf has really just been coming through with their face powders and this is an oldie but goodie i had this for a while but it still works really well so i'm gonna hold on to this you guys if you don't know, now you know. Don't sleep on Elf's finishing powders and their face products because they're really, really good. Um, next, I have this Makeup Forever. I talked about this in my Get um, What's In Your Bag Girl new series. This is a oldie but goodie. This is Makeup Forever's concealer. Um, this was like a custom concealer quad, and I'm definitely going to hold on to this. I'm not sure if they still make these, but that was a custom palette. So yeah, I'm going to hold on to that. This is a, and I'm sorry if it's random. I don't have everything organized. That's the purpose of this video. I'm going to declutter and I'm going to organize if I didn't say that already. So I don't have like all of my concealers in one place and all of my highlighters and bronzers and blushes in another place. Everything was just in one um, drawer and just put in its place by shape and size. And then over time, it just got really messy <laughs> as some of you who have a lot of makeup, you know how it can be, so don't judge me. <laughs> but this is um, pretty vulgar. This is such a beautiful shimmer um, highlighter. I use it every so often, but not often enough. But it's absolutely gorgeous. It's so soft and silky. It doesn't make my skin look ashy. Um, you know, some highlighters you put it on and it's just so powdery and ashy looking. It doesn't have like a, a silky finish, but this is really good. So yeah, shout out to Pretty Vulgar for this formula. It's excellent. So we're going to hold on to that. Um, this is, I believe, a blush, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I think it's actually, it says it's a marble light burnt blush. This is by Ciate London. I'm going to open it really quickly for you to see. This is how it looks. Isn't it gorgeous? I don't use it a lot though. It's barely touched, but it feels amazing. Look at that on my finger. Look at that. Gorgeous. So I think this is a blush. So I'm going to hold on to this as well. Yeah, it's really good. I haven't had it that long. So I'm going to hold on to that. Um, next we have the Milani um what is it called illuminating or luminous blush i first got this maybe like a year or so ago and i really love milani milani is like one of my favorite brands but this product right here it, i just felt like it took a lot of work for me to get the color payoff um so i really wasn't using it as much as i thought i would so we're going to declutter this 
All right, next we have um, ColourPop. You guys know, if you've been following me for a while, how I feel about ColourPop. This is their Super Shock um, Cheek, which is basically what they call their blushes. And this is absolutely gorgeous. So I'm going to hold on to this. This one is called Most Necessary. I actually have a few here. Here's another cheek one. This is called Butterfly Beach. I use this when I go on vacation. It's so gorgeous. This one is more of a like um, cream to powder finish. And it's absolutely gorgeous. And you can see the difference in all of these. So yeah, I am think I'm going to hold on to this one. This one is also a cheek. This one is called the Birthday Suit. Yeah, so these I'm going to hold on to. Put those right there. This one I don't really use. Um, it's really pretty, but I don't run to it anymore like I used to. This is called Sticky Sweet. And it's a super, again, another super shock cheek, a.k.a. blush by ColourPop. Super gorgeous, but I don't use it. What happens was is that I ended up using this as an eyeshadow or I would do something really creative in my inner corner um, because that's just how ColourPop's formulas are. You can really multi-use um, their um, products for anything you want. So I'm not sure if I want to declutter this or give it away or still keep it for that purpose. So I might put this in the maybe pile, so I'm just going to put it to the side. Yeah, I'm going to put all these to the side because I have to organize it later anyway. Um, let's see, what is this? Oops, sorry. Everything is falling out. This is still in the box, you guys. As you can see, <laughs> this is Mayel. I vaguely remember getting this. This is their Red Carpet Strong and contouring kit um i don't remember even using this that often this is what it looked yeah i don't use this look at this it still has the paper shield inside so i'm definitely going to declutter this or if anyone is interested in this palette um let me know because i have left options for purchase if you are interested if not i'll probably just um give it to a family member or a friend so that's Mayel. We're almost done with this drawer. So far we decluttered three items, so I need to do better. I'm trying to declutter as many as I can. I didn't put a specific number on this particular declutter like I did with my eyeshadow palettes because with my eyeshadow palettes, I had so many, so many, you guys. All right, so the next um, face palette or highlight is by Purr. This is the Per um, Sculpting Palette. I have used this a few times and it's really good. As you can see, you get two different types of highlight and then you get two different shades of contour. Um, I usually don't really contour a lot. I use this to either warm up around my face. This is really good. It's still really fresh. Um, it's really good. So I'm going to hold on to that. Next, I have this um, cheeky, I think this is a highlight. This is by Space Case Cosmetics, the brand Space Case. Um, they're a newer brand that I recently started to um, get myself more acquainted with, if you will. And they're really good. I like their formula. Um, I haven't used this yet, but I do have other um, products by them that I've used like eyeshadow so I think I'm gonna give this one a try it's still really good as you can tell I haven't really used it it's in perfect condition so I think I'm gonna hold on to this really quick I'm just gonna try it out and see and we'll circle back around maybe when I do like a um, update video like based on products that I really like or products that I really didn't like so be on the lookout for those type of videos on my channel here is another elf oldie but goodie this is their shimmer highlighting palette i have this for a while now i think i'm pretty much okay with it as you can see it's really pretty the only thing about this particular one is that it has a lot of fallout it gets really messy really quick you can even tell right here by the splotches on the mirror i really do like it but i just got really overwhelmed every time i use it that it just gets all over my clothes like it's just too much so i'm going to declutter this i really don't want to but i have to I had it for a while now, so I feel like it's okay. It's okay, Imani. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. Okay. Just a little singing break. Um, <laughs> all right. So now we have another blush. This is the Blush Lighter Palette by 
the Essence brand. I really, really remember enjoying this. I haven't really been reaching for it most recently, but I have been enjoying it. It's a gradient powder blush. I love that when you put this on, it just makes you look so just beautiful like it's just really really good so I think I'm going to hold on to this don't sleep on the essence brand you guys like the essence brand is really amazing and you can get this from um, Ulta okay all right so next is this Milani palette here this Milani strobe light sunlight highlight like it's really really good I haven't reached for it in a while but I just cannot depart from it so we're gonna hold on to that it's so good for those of you that know about that you know what I'm talking about like it's really really good we're almost done we're almost done um, let's go here this is a duo right here I love it I don't even know why this is not put to the side already but this is by Pacifica this is Pacifica's um vegan and cruelty free highlight and blush duo so good they have like two different versions but this is the one that I like I love that it has a mirror on the back um I forgot what shade this is in I don't have the box anymore but this is so good you guys so definitely check out Pacifica if you don't know much about them let me check over here. These are some, I'm telling you, I was obsessed with highlights and bronzers and blushes, but more so the highlights. This is um, Steve Laurent's highlight. This, oh my God, you guys, this thing is super gorgeous. I'm trying to open it for you. It's super, super gorgeous. It doesn't want to cooperate. Here we go. Look at that. You can see I dig in it all the time. A lot of times I don't even use a brush. I use my finger because I just feel like the payoff is even better when you use your finger. It's, look at this. Do you see this? Can we get a zoom? Absolutely gorgeous. So we're gonna hold on to her. <laughs> we're gonna hold on to her. Here is the famous Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Powder. This is in, um, what is this in precious petals remember when this came out you guys this is still so good still so good so we're gonna hold on to this you guys you're gonna hold on to that I'm telling you I thought I would do better with this all right now we're coming into this morphe highlight palette now this was a very special collaboration between um, I think it's her name is Daisy or Deja danger I never say her name right but she did a collaboration with Morphe and when this came out it was like such a big deal look at this palette it was such a big deal when this came out isn't it gorgeous look at this and I only to be honest I only use really these three colors down here all these other colors at the top I don't use at all you know so I just don't think it really worked with my skin tone and I just really didn't use it a lot. And then these colors down here, these shades, I feel like I have these similar shades with other highlighter palettes or just a regular highlighter compact, you know? So I think I'm gonna declutter this. So if anyone is interested, please leave your information down below or just let me know mine, I want that. DM me, email me, whatever, and we can talk about the price. It's not going to be more than, uh, it's not going to be expensive, all right, because I barely used it. It's gently used, and I always try to be reasonable when people want to purchase from me, so you can trust that you're going to get a fair price, okay? So, yeah, we're going to declutter this um, Desi Danger highlighter palette collaboration with Morphe. We're almost done with, look, this tray is done, okay? Um, let's see what we have. This is something that I received in uh, Ipsy Bag. I never used it, it's still in the box. It's by Pacifica. This is the Ice Baby Mineral Highlight with Coconut Water. I did open it and check it out. It's very, very light for me, so I'm definitely gonna declutter that. Next, I have another Wet n Wild I think this was like the limited edition um, summer collection. This is the Palm Beach um, Ready Bronzer. 
um, this is just so pretty I really don't go to it but then again everything was just so jammed in here that I just didn't feel like doing it <laughs> didn't feel like looking for it but it's so gorgeous it's so gorgeous look at that and I love the little leaf that they embedded inside the actual highlight or bronzer rather so we're gonna hold on to that you guys we're gonna hold on to that and I don't have too many bronzers so I really wanted to do better with checking out some really good bronzers because I just haven't found any that really just grab that it just didn't speak to me everyone's like oh this bronzer is so good so good but I'm like eh, I'm not seeing it I'm not seeing what you're seeing people <laughs> um, what is this this is ace beauty I remember ace beauty um, this is I believe a contour palette as you can see it's really pretty but I haven't really used it at all. It's pretty much untouched. So I'm going to declutter this. Um, if anybody's interested, just let me know in the comments down below. And we'll take it from there. Here is a Lovecraft Beauty palette. Um, totally forgot about this palette. Let me try to open her up for you. We're doing good. We're doing good. This is what she looks like. Super pretty, right? I remember swatching this when I received it. Um, these colors are colors I probably would use every so often, but not so much. So I'm going to declutter this. Lovecraft Beauty. I don't really reach for it, so it's like, let's just make room for something new and better, yeah? Here is the Real Her Fear, Be Fearless, Be Limitless. Um, blush I believe this was a blush set look at this it's still protected as you can see it's a little messy right there when I first like used it um, I was really not really feeling the way this was packaged because every time you try to dip your brush into it it just got really weird so I'm gonna declutter her okay so next is this beautiful Bobbi Brown highlighter um, <laughs> this is actually a beautiful keepsake so I'm certainly not giving this away but I keep it hidden because I don't always use it because it's just so like high-end it's just so luxurious looking I'm gonna show you like really quickly what it looks like inside hold on for a second all right here's what she looks like isn't she gorgeous look at that absolutely gorgeous all right so we're definitely going to keep her absolutely gorgeous beautiful so all of these other palettes I think I showed you guys in another video but just in case you missed it this is the profusion strobe and glow face palette this basically has nothing but beautiful nine shade highlighters um, this is actually something I don't really use often but it's beautiful like especially if I'm going on vacation and I don't want to bring like a bunch of small individual palettes I'll just bring this so I believe I'm going to hold on to her because it's absolutely gorgeous absolutely gorgeous I also have a few um, Becca's that are repeats but for the sake of this video I'll show you this one because I have more than one I have more than one this is the Becca classic Becca highlight everybody who knows knows Becca's highlights like it's absolutely beautiful so gorgeous so I'm gonna hold on to that um, I have another Lovecraft Beauty highlighter I believe this is just a smaller version of that palette I showed you but I always love these miniature ones especially when I do like weekenders and I just want to take something simple and not carry like a full palette these always come in handy um, so I think I'm definitely gonna hold on to these so I'll have something small to carry with me instead of carrying like the um, again I have a few duplicate items so I'm just gonna move it along here um, I have the Urban Decay Afterglow um, I got this from Nordstrom Rack. I remember when I was in Nordstrom Rack and I saw this. It's super pretty. At the time, I used it all the time, but now I don't. Um, as you can see, it's barely touched, but it's so pretty. So I'm going to declutter this. So if you're really interested, again, 
leave a comment down below or it will be giving I'll be donating this to a family member or a friend um, unless it's just really not good and I'll just end up throwing it away um, here is Shania B brand this is a blush and highlight palette as you can see it's barely touched I think I swatched it when I first received it um, it's really pretty but I don't go to it I don't gravitate to it I don't reach for it so I'm going to declutter her really nice packaging as well I think it's really cute the packaging super pretty and I have another um, <laughs> profusion as you can tell I love profusion I think their formulas are amazing but this is the profusion luminizer 2 I remember when this first came out they were going like hotcakes and I could not get my hands on it the packaging is really cool really pretty um, and it's basically five shades of highlight um, it's just like all these gold and and pinky shades like I don't know it's so different and unique you know but I don't really gravitate to it anymore it came out maybe like a year or two ago but it's still really good um, but I think I'm gonna declutter this so once again if you're interested in this let me know okay and I have another um, Laura Geller product here this is the multitasking eye lip and cheek palette these type of products I don't always like to purchase um, even though sometimes I am that girl that likes to um, multi-use like this or multitask her products um, I rather make that decision on my own um, and make that choice but this is what it looks like the colors weren't paying off the way that I thought that they would so as you can see I barely used it I think I swatched it or tried to use it once or twice so if you're interested again let me know if not it's been really warm here as well in New York so this is definitely going to be something that I throw away and now we got we're done with the first drawer you guys let's move on to the second drawer yikes okay so the second drawer is not that bad it's not that bad not that bad all right so one of the first items in here that i already know i'm going to declutter is this eyebrow bar um i forgot what brand this is by oh here it is it's by the it's by brow bar the true glam brow makeover kit dark um eh, i might i don't know i felt like it was okay I did like the idea of having this little kit when I needed it, but since I'm a minimalist and I like to do things quick and easy, I, I am a one product girl when it comes to my brows. Um, so I was just like, okay. So if you're interested, it's barely used. It's like a pomade and then in the center, it has like a brow gel to top coat your brow so it holds in place like it's just really cute but it's just not for me and I think this was something I received as a gift or in one of my beauty subscriptions um, I just didn't gravitate to it saying all that to say <laughs> um, here is another blush quad or combination this is also by Milani as you can see I wore this out um, I had it for a minute so I'm going to throw this away probably it doesn't need to be decluttered it needs to be thrown away declutter thrown away same thing I guess um, here is another favorite of mine I had this for like almost a year now this is the kiss glow and bronzer palette this thing is so rich in color it's ridiculous like a little does go a long way like it's absolutely gorgeous <laughs> sorry for the background noise it's a beautiful day today so everyone is on their motorcycles just taking in this beautiful weather before it starts to change but look at this up close you guys like I actually used this in one of my previous videos um, get ready with me and all you need is just a touch and it just gives you so much illumination it's ridiculous super gorgeous especially if you're on vacation and you just got a really nice bronzy like tan just to make that heighten this would be gorgeous so I'm definitely gonna hold on to that next we're um I'm let me see all right so this is um we're gonna go into a little bit of like I tried to try well I well I'm tongue-tied but I basically tried to begin 
organizing like my creams and you know uh what do you call it um concealers and contour sticks in this because I didn't have that many of them just like I mentioned before with foundation I'm really at this stage in life I'm all about just being really minimal with things and just keeping products that really work for me and if it doesn't it's, I'm not going to use it so <laughs> that's why you don't really see a lot of foundation in my arsenal here I have like a few really good concealers by um, e.l.f. I've always been a fan of e.l.f.'s formulas and I really enjoy their e.l.f. Um, hydrating camo concealers that came out uh, a year or so ago and they also came out with the camo um, CC cream and I did a full e.l.f. video um, a year or so ago so check that out but these are really really good um, so I'm going to hold on to these um, I really like the brand um, Trace Seek, and I've been getting these a lot when I order certain products, and sometimes I'll get samples for free. These, I believe, I got from either Ipsy or BoxyCharm, and this is the Trace Seek Contour Stick, and there's a brush inside, and this is, I think, a brow. I never got a, de a defined brow before. Usually, I'll get like a lipstick. Um, because all of their products look just like this. So I thought it was really creative and really unique. And I really like the finish of that. So we're going to hold on to that. Um, I also have my LA Girls Primer Spray. You guys know I love a good mist or primer spray. So when I get more, I'm definitely going to um, probably organize them in a different way. But since I don't have that many, I keep them in here. Um, and this is my other favorite Spackle Mist by Laura Geller. When I tell you... This thing right here blesses my soul, okay? I love this mist. I try not to use it as much, but I can't help it because it's so good. It's so good. <laughs> um, I had another um, facial mist. I thought I kept it in here. Maybe it's under here somewhere. I thought I had another mist. It was like a sample. It was really miniature. I think it was by... I'm trying to remember. I think it was by Milani. I'm not sure. But for the most part, this is where I keep my concealers and my facial mist and foundations. Um, I already took out the um, Beauty Counter one. And here is another one by Too Faced. We all remember this. This is Born This Way Too Faced Super Coverage Multi Sculpting Concealer. It's okay. I found that it was a little too light for me. But I was able to use it in other areas. Sorry again. I was able to use it in other ways on my skin that I really found to be helpful. So that's why I held on to it. So I'm going to try it again and see if I still want to keep it. So it's going to stay there for now. Um, this is the e.l.f. Lightweight Concealer in Fair. Um, I used to use this a lot back in the day. But I don't know why I feel like the formula is different. Or maybe it's just me or maybe I got the wrong shade but it just doesn't feel or look the same compared to the one that I had before years ago so I'm going to declutter that I'm going to declutter that and since we're talking about primers and concealers um, this is it's a little messy sorry about that um, but this is else poreless face primer on the go and I really like it. I don't use it as much um, because because it was so hot. I haven't been using wearing a lot of makeup, so I don't use it. But it's really good, so I'm going to hold on to that and keep that in there. I really like these trays. I'm definitely going to go back to Dollar Tree and get some more because it fits perfectly in here. Um, I'm not sure if I want to stack them or not, but we'll see. I only got two because I wasn't 100% sure that it would fit. Um, so now that I know that it works well in this drawer, I'm definitely going to go back. It's just a little sidebar. Um, here's one more. This is by Wander. This is Wander's, um, the label, the print, you can't really see it because um, I had it for a minute, but it's really good. Um, this is like a liquid like really like sheer like primer for your skin it's okay um i don't really use it as much so i'm going to declutter this or i might just throw it away because i had it for a while but it's really good wander has really good um skincare products i'm not 100 percent sure if i like some of their other items but i've had that a few times and it's really good just wanted to add that for anybody who was curious 
Um, this is the Sheer and Glow Bronzer. This is by Nika K. I remember when this first came out, I was looking for it everywhere and found it at my local beauty supply store. This is in Nectar Soleil. This one is okay, but I really love the one that's a little darker than this, so I'm gonna declutter that. Here is the Cover XX brand. I really love this brand. This is their um, highlight palette. Hold on, you guys. Look at this palette. Isn't it gorgeous? This is like so perfect for like a beach vacation. Like it's just so beautiful. I don't know why I cannot let this go. It's just something about it that is just keeping me holding on to it. Like every time I think about just giving it away to someone, I change my mind. And as you can see, it's barely touched. You don't even see any fingerprints or anything like that as far as me swatching it. Well, actually maybe this one in the middle. See that one? You can see a little indentation and right here. It's just so beautiful. So I'm gonna hold on to it. <laughs> I'm gonna hold on to it a little longer, you guys. Are y'all praying for me? Ugh. Absolutely good old faithful black radiance true complexion contour palette in light to medium i actually just used this not too long ago so we're going to hold on to that um i am going to declutter this alamar cosmetics this is actually by one of the founders of boxycharm and it came in one of my boxycharm um, subscription boxes when they first advertised it. It's really pretty, but the colors are a little bit too um, rich for my taste. Um, it's barely touched. It's really pretty. I love the packaging, but it's not for me. So if you're interested, um, please let me know as I've mentioned already. Um, here is my Glowing in Grease palette that I rave about even when I first got it. This is by BH Cosmetics. Um, I believe I'm going to continue to hold on to this. I'm trying to open it so you can see it. This is absolutely beautiful. I even use these shades for eyeshadow from time to time when I just want that dewy, neutral, cool tone type of look. Um, it's really, really good. I believe they still actually have this available on their website. So if you're interested, check that out. This is not sponsored. Um, I'm definitely going to um, declutter this Milani Bronzer XL All Over Glow. I thought it would be a little bit more bronzier, but it kind of makes me look a little dry and ashy. And since I do have dry to combination skin, this is the last thing that I need is making having using a product that makes myself, my skin look even more dry. <laughs> so I'm gonna declutter this. It definitely did not work for me at all. Um, I'm definitely going to declutter this other pretty vulgar finishing powder. Um, it didn't do anything for me at all. The packaging is beautiful. Um, it has like a little pouch in the inside. Let me open it for you really quickly. This is what it looks like inside. The pretty vulgar um, finishing powder or setting powder, if I'm not mistaken. Let me turn it around. Ooh, I'm making a mess. So you take it out. Like, I feel like it's just a little bit too light for me. It, I don't really feel like it did anything for me. So I'm gonna declutter that. But the packaging is really pretty. It's really cute. <laughs> and like I mentioned before, I have a lot of Ofra um, <laughs> and duplicates, which is what you see here. This is the Ofra um, Rodeo Drive Highlighter. We all know about the Rodeo Drive Highlighter. For those of you who know, you know. Um, here is another one I received. This is the Soho Highlighter. Like, I had many of these and had to replenish. And I actually have another one. See this? I'm telling you, this is actually Glow Gold. They look similar, but they're not the same. But I did have duplicates and I gave those away to my friends for Christmas and they loved it. Um, so you definitely always have to keep an eye out for when I get things because I do love being a blessing to my friends and my followers. And sometimes I'll just give it away. I won't even say, hey, you want to purchase? I'll just give it away because that's just how I am. Okay. You know, it's just nice to be nice. <laughs> but I'm definitely going to keep these, you guys. I'm definitely going to keep that. Um, I'm definitely going to declutter this California Sun Glow. I actually got this when I was on vacation um, on a cruise. They have an amazing spa. And I really enjoyed this um, product that they used on my skin. But 
it wasn't coming out the way that I thought it would, but I only kept it because I just felt like it was unique. It was a keepsake and they keep it in this little pottery um, little jar. And when you take the top off, it gets a little messy. So I don't know, I'm still thinking I may hold on to it just because of the memories and just how creative it is. Um, I'm not sure, but the information is here on the bottom and here's the box time to spa and it's one of the brands that they use when you want to treat yourself to a spa treatment so I don't know I, I'm, I'm not sure about this one I'll put this in the maybe maybe all right and this is definitely going to get decluttered or thrown away this is also by Milani I use this as you can see all the time the prep set and go glow setting powder this illuminating translucent translucent powder as you can see i hit pan with this so it's really good i definitely need to purchase that again and everything else i'm going to keep well actually i'm going to declutter this elf as much as i love elf this um highlighter that you can barely see it didn't give me the payoff that i was looking for as you can see it's barely touched so if you're interested obviously you can let me know if you're interested in that or i'm just going to give it away to a friend or a family member here is my one of my favorite um palettes i talk about it all the time this is the huda beauty 3d highlight palette i'm trying to open it so you guys can see it the packaging is amazing bam look at this look at this you can see how much i dig into this right isn't it gorgeous absolutely amazing so we're going to hold on to her she's awesome and of course i'm definitely going to hold on to the tart um shape tape i love the finish of it especially when i um wear this during the winter and i want my skin to look a little bit more matte it does the job and it doesn't dry out my skin at all my skin still looks healthy it still looks just really good so i'm definitely going to hold on to this tart um once again shape tape um press powder or finishing powder and last but not least i believe i'm going to continue to hold on to this prism glow this is by um what's the young lady's name uh this is by dominique cosmetics and i just want to show you what this looks like really quick it's a unique way to open it <laughs> and this is what it looks like isn't it gorgeous and this formula right here is different from all the others this one is like a cream and it just goes on really nicely so i'm going to hold on to that it's really a keepsake I just love the packaging. It's just so different. So we have like a couple of seconds left to this video or a couple of minutes. So I'm just gonna really quickly organize this in a, a time-lapse video so you can just see the outcome of what I kept. And then I'll Alright guys, I just finished. As you can see, I was struggling 
with this container I don't know why these were not wanting to stand up straight but listen I will perfect this drawer but at the end of the day the goal was accomplished I decluttered it looks much better than it did before now I have extra room to maneuver to grab I can get through it easily both drawers look way better than they did before so mission accomplished uh, thank you guys for watching my declutter video of all of my face um, products my concealers my blushes my highlighters you guys thank you for your patience um, if you like these type of videos um, and you want to see more leave a comment down below I would be happy to do these for you I have so many more items I'm decluttering um, I have my skincare drawer that needs to be decluttered. I have my um, body care, my hair care drawer. I have so many other areas in which I am decluttering. So I'm still perfecting how to do these videos. But thank you for your patience. And don't forget to like and subscribe and to share. And remember to hit that notification bell. So whenever I post a new video, you will be notified. See you in my next video. Thank you for watching. And remember, beauty begins within first. Bye, guys.